Hey everybody, ready to slop some resin. I got me some epoxy and hardener mixed up. Well, I'm mixing it up anyway. But, uh, see how shiny my, uh, that mold release ends up? Plus, I moved my camera over there. So, y'all can get a little better view. And my backside, I know it's nice back there, but not enough lady viewers. Not enough lady viewers. I'm going to put just a prickle more harder in there. Mix it exactly and put just a little bit more in there. It'll make it sit a little bit quicker. Because I tell you, this white, this white resin, I can about mix it and get it perfect just by the color. Just needs to be a, a light pink. Because the resin's kind of, or resin's white and the hardener's kind of red. You got to make sure this, especially this thicker stuff, you get the bottoms and you get the sides really good. Now I ain't even going to thicken this stuff up with any kind of calcium or anything like that because it's all pretty much flat. You know, when you need this stuff to hang on a side, I thicken it up, but we won't need to today. I'm just going to put several light coats on it. But I like the, the way it turns out that way too which I think is the way you're supposed to do it. And this will act like a gel coat and give me a super good finish on the inside of my mold. That's where that getting that we ain't really smooth will pay off because it'll make my surface of my mold just that much better so that wasn't wasted labor you know just a nice even coat That's the best part when you're spreading this resin. You don't have to be neat, man. You just slop this stuff. <laughs> I get these brushes. I get these brushes from Harbor Freight too. I buy them in bulk. Man, they don't cost very much at all when you buy a box of them. Go to the dang hardware store and buy one. It's a couple bucks. <laughs> you know, you can go to Harbor Freight and get 30 of them for $6.
This is the old bat killer right here. That's what I thought I'd be saving from turning my wing that way. I think I'll put like three coats of this resin on. And that's what I did with that other wing. That'll make me a nice mold, man. With no pinholes, nothing to fix. Ain't got time to be fixing anything. And just work it into them panel lines. Now once I started this people, I'm committed. Cause I gotta kinda let these white coats, I gotta let them set up and get tacky. Okay? That's gonna take a couple hours. Then I can come in and put another coat of white on it. That's gonna take that another couple hours. Then once I start laying my cloth on, I can just go. But uh these first couple steps take a long time because you're waiting for epoxy to cure. That's why I like to hit it with just a tad bit extra hardener, especially when it's cold out. Otherwise, I'll be here till 4 in the morning. And we don't want that. Oh no. Okay, let me mix up some more right quick. Now that was 500 grams. I think I got a little over half of it. I think I'll mix up 400 this time. Now this ain't gel coat, even though it's white. Gel, actual gel coat is polyester. Okay? This is just a thicker resin. It's made kind of to cling on the sides of stuff. And uh, they just call it white resin. It's just a white epoxy resin at Associated Industries. Anytime you ask them for resin, they sell polyester too, people. So when you ask them for what resin, be sure and tell them epoxy. If you want the, the clear stuff, you tell them I want the clear a bucket of five or a clear epoxy resin. If you want the white, 